What's up? So it is 14.45 Wednesday afternoon. I figured I'd do a short mini review on new Star Wars stuff. So, I'm not doing Bad Batch. I'm, just, I'm doing the other ones. Um, this is about Star Wars biomes and vehicle fly-throughs. They came out on Star Wars Day, May 4th, yesterday. They suck, dick. Yeah, they suck. I don't know why everybody's praising it so poorly, like, dude, they fucking suck. The only things they are is basically, let me see, 18, 25 minutes of ambient screensaver shit, literally. What Biomes is, it does a planet, it goes over six different locations, I think. And it just shows you the locations. That's it. That's all it is. Sure, it's cool, but eh, eh, that's it. That's all it is. It's so dumb. And then vehicle flythroughs only has two things: the Falcon and the First Order Star Destroyer. And those are really short. They're four and three minutes long. <laughs> oh, damn it. They suck. They, they're so shit. They're utter fucking shit. Why are they shit? Because there's no substance to it. Nothing. If you're gonna do... They have the opportunity to make it educational. Okay? This is why I'm pissed about it. I'm not super mad. I'm just pissed. Like, you come out with biomes. Okay? And you show off planetary locations. We also have a Star Wars Atlas. We also have... The Wildlife of Star Wars Field Guide. You have the unique... They have the unique opportunity to incorporate both of those into it and make it educational. Like you go to, say, whatever planet it is, and you can find out the population, the forestation. Um, I forget all the details for it. But you know what I'm talking about. Like, they can show off the flora, the fauna, all the little details about it, how the weather system is. And it would be so educational for newcomers and, fan, and, and uh, fans all around. It would be so much fun. And with the vehicle fly-throughs, you have, let's see here, eight, nine... About 10 different Incredible Cross Section books, plus Incredible Cross Sections. You have about over, I'm trying to think. I'll lowball, I'll say about 30, over 30 cross sections to choose from. You could literally incorporate those into the vehicle fly throughs so that when you're on the approach to them, and shit and they explore it you can literally go inside and then little things will pop up highlighting what they are and that would be so much fun and it would make it educational but no they don't want to do that lazy motherfuckers <laughs> so yeah biomes is fun but eh. fly throughs <clears throat> oh that's one um yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I don't like it. It's not that cool. It's very shit. They're both shit. So, yeah. They're basically 4-3 out of 10 for me. Like, I, I wish they'd been better. I so wish. Like, we had that game, Star Wars Episode One: The Gungan Frontier, which was educational. And... Oh, wow. I mean, all the books that have been put out are educational material. And they can incorporate that into literally anything, but they won't do it, which is so stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's such a unique opportunity, but oh well. <laughs> so, mm, that's how I feel. But how did I like Bad Batch? It was good shit. Great fucking pilot. But, yeah. So, I'm stoked. Do I like Star Wars again? Eh, a little bit. Um, but yeah, 
for everything new they put out, some of that shit just sucks. And people don't want to admit it because they're diehard fans and they don't want to see anything wrong with it. I know the newest thing that people have been bitching about is that Omega is SJW. I'm like, man, y'all got a heart on for a little girl. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But whatever. So, yeah, if you like the biomes and, and fly throughs, more power to you. If you didn't and you found it stupid like me, welcome to the club. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, that's what I got. So, till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.